uh, and then uh, your topic. And this is a, this is the mixed group here with housing, education, and social welfare. Pat, would you like to start? Sure. And then we'll work. We'll work this way. Uh, Pat O'Brien, I'm the director of the Catholic Commission of Wayne Ashland Medina, which is the social action arm of the Diocese of Cleveland in this area. I've been down here for 18 years and uh, just want to brief, uh, broadly speak on two short uh, topics, just as a kind of an overview. Uh, the Farm Bill has not been resolved in the budget. And one of the important parts that is taken up in the Farm Bill is SNAP, food stamps. And we don't know where we're going to stand with food stamps in the upcoming four or five months. Uh, it's been suggested, they've, done the, they've run the numbers, that if you took, there's this whole thing about, well, let's churches take on the food issue. If, if they would just take on more of these particular issues, then these issues can get resolved that way. They, they run the numbers, and if you took the total uh, uh, food stamp program and, and stopped it and moved it into the churches and synagogues and mosques of the United States, uh, each entity, each church or mosque or synagogue, would have to have a budget of $50,000 to make up for what the federal budget currently does. So at this point, we don't know where we stand, but it's clear that churches cannot pick up this kind of situation because they're already, with their food pantries and everything that they do, they're stretched to the limit. So people need to understand where the line ends with where churches can do what they can do. Uh, we have in our uh, teaching, Catholic teaching, the idea of solidarity and subsidiarity. Subsidiarity is that you bring things down to, to achieve the result as locally as you can. And so that's, that's a very good thing. But solidarity says that there are some things that need a wider range of distribution and funding and coordination to make them work. And so federally, the food stamp program is the best way to make sure that food is distributed and available for those that need it. You, you can't make that program be administered solely locally and get the job done. So that's the food part of the equation. The only other part I would bring up <clears throat> is Community Action of Wayne Medina does the HEAP program, the Heating Assistance Program. That's been cut by the federal budget, uh, proposed budget. I, I'm not, I don't have the exact figures, but it's close to half uh, recently in the past year. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are in Wayne County, but this is going to affect a significant number of families this year. And this, I'm pretty sure this winter is not going to be as warm as last year's winter is. These are the realities that we face locally, and there's only a limit to what we can do as partners. <laughs> okay, there's a limit to what we can do as partners. We want to be citizens and partners and neighbors, yes, but we also have to have that complementary aspect of the wider uh, governmental. The government is us. It's not something other. We are the government. Thank you.